How's it going everybody? Daner here with North Central Coins and welcome back to another episode of the most rare and valuable coins in the United States. In today's video, we're going to be counting down the top 10 Lincoln cents. Now, this is from the Bicentennial and Shield Reverse series. So these are modern American pennies that you actually have a very good chance of finding in your pocket change. Now, a lot of the time when it comes to finding these extremely rare and valuable coins, they will be super scarce and there will not be too many examples floating around out there in the wild of circulation. But that is not necessarily the case with the pennies on this list. You actually have a pretty good chance of finding them and some of them I have actually found coin roll hunting here even in Canada. Now most of these pennies are not super valuable if they are in a low grade condition but on the high end if you find them in a high mint state they can be worth some serious money even up to thousands of dollars. So in today's list we're going to be counting down the top 10 Bicentennial and Shield Reverse Lincoln cents. Before I do get into this I would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and also hit that bell notification so you can follow along with my new videos as they are being released. And then without further ado what do you say we get right into it and count down some of these extremely rare and valuable modern American pennies. Let's get it guys. So as I start this list off, I'm going to work my way from number 10 being the least valuable all the way up to number one being the most rare and valuable penny on this list. As I mentioned previously, none of these pennies are worth a lot of money in a low grade condition. They are rare and they are great album fillers and you should definitely keep an eye out for them because people do like to hold on to them. But if you want to get the absolute premium for them, you need to find them in a high grade condition, meaning they have not been circulated. They are in a mint state. They don't have any wear or damage. And if you want to get the most out of that, then you have to send it to a grading company such as PCGS or NGC to get the grade attribution. And then maybe you can sell it to your local coin shop or a coin auction site. But what do you say we start this list off with number 10 with pennies can also receive three different color designations red being the most desirable the next best being red brown and usually the least desirable being brown now the color changes over time due to several factors but usually the main factor being toning and weathering due to being in rolls or being exposed to the elements now in terms of value, the 2016 D mint mark, meaning it was struck at the Denver mint, is not worth a whole lot on the low end. It's only worth about 16 cents, but that is actually quite a premium if you consider the actual face value of the coin is only one cent. But the 2016 D shield cent can be worth all the way up to $650 if it reaches the high MS mark and gets that red attribution. Number nine is going to be the 2015 Lincoln shield cent and this is from the philadelphia mint meaning it will not actually have a mint mark on it now to get the absolute premium out of this coin you need to get the red color attribution and on the low end it is not worth a whole lot around 16 cents in fact just about every single penny on this list is worth 16 cents on the low end because these are the most rare and desirable of the modern pennies so even though 16 cents doesn't seem like a lot if this was a dollar or a 50 cent coin, that would actually be a pretty nice premium if you were able to get $16 for a $1 coin. So even though it is not a huge price tag on this, it is still not a bad premium on the low end, but it can actually be worth all the way up to $780 if you can get that high MS grade as well as the red color attribution. Number eight is going to be the 2009 American Lincoln cent and this is with the presidency design. Now 2009 American pennies are some of the most rare and desirable of the modern American pennies. They have fairly limited mintages and you don't come across them too often. In Canada I have actually found a few 2009 pennies from the United States but none of them in a mint state that is for sure. But for this one you are looking for the 2009 presidency with no mint mark indicating it was struck at the Philadelphia mint. To get the absolute most amount of money you want to get that red color attribution on the low end it's only worth about 16 cents if it's in a low grade beat up and been put through the meat grinder but the 2009 presidency can be worth all the way up to 910 dollars if you can get a high ms grade and also that red color attribution number seven on this list is going to be the 2017 d shield lincoln cent and it has a d mint mark indicating it was struck at the denver mint it's worth 16 cents 
on the low end and it can be worth all the way up to $1,020 if you can get a high MS grade and also the red color attribution and that is for the 2017 Denver Mint Mark Lincoln Shield set. Number six is going to be the 2010 Lincoln Shield scent, and this is with no mint mark indicating that it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Now it is worth 16 cents on the low end, meaning it has a low grade. It has been beat up and put through the meat grinder. If you guys are wondering where I'm getting the values of these coins, I got the values for this list off of graysheet.com. They are one of the best and most informative United States coin guides on the internet that I can find. There is no equivalent to coins in Canada or coins in Australia or UK for the United States coins. Unfortunately, those are some of the best coin grading websites that you can find out there. But Graysheet is pretty decent and they have some pretty accurate prices. Now on the high end, the 2010 Shield Scent is actually worth exactly the same as the 2017 D Shield Scent. It is worth $1,020 if it can get a high grade and also the red color attribution. Now another quick note, when I am saying high grade for these American pennies, I mean MS67 or MS68. A lot of the times when it comes to grading, American coins can actually score out of 70 on the Sheldon scale. It's not too often that you see Canadian coins go above 67, but quite often you will see American coins dip into the 68 and 69 mark a lot of the time. And sometimes they'll even get that 70 grade and they can be worth a whole heck of a lot of moolah if they do. Number five is gonna be the 2016 Lincoln Shield scent. And this is with no mint mark indicating it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. It is worth 16 cents on the low end, just like every other penny on this list. And it can be worth all the way up to $1,500 for a high grade example and also if it gets the red color attribution and that is for the 2016 Philadelphia Shield Scent. Now the last four pennies that we are going to cover on this list should come as no surprise to any experienced United States coin collector. They are all from the year 2009. 2009 are some of the most desirable and rare of the modern American pennies and they can be super hard to find in a high grade state and also you just don't come across them too often. Even if you are from the United States, finding one of these in a high mint state can prove difficult. And if you are from Canada, you will probably never find any of these coins in a high mint state. And if you do, you are one lucky dog. But next up on this list is number four, which is going to be the 2009 Professional Life Lincoln Scent, and this is with no mint mark, indicating that it was struck at the Philadelphia Mint. Now, there are four different designs for the 2009 Lincoln Scents. There is the Early Childhood, the Formative Years, the Professional Life, and the Presidency Designs, all of which have relatively low mintage figures and are quite desirable for collectors. But the 2009 Professional Life no mint mark can be worth, surprise, surprise, 16 cents on the low end, and it can be worth all the way up to $1,560 if you find one in a high grade condition and it also gets the red color attribution. Number three on this list is going to be the 2009 D Mint Mark indicating it was struck at the Denver Mint Formative Years Design Lincoln Scent. Now it is worth 16 cents on the low end, but this bad boy can be worth all the way up to $1,880 if it is in a high grade and it also gets the red color attribution and that is for the 2009 Denver Mint Mark Formative Years Lincoln Penny. Number two is the 2009 Formative Years Philadelphia Mint Lincoln Penny, meaning it has no mint mark. It is worth 16 cents on the low end and it can be worth all the way up to $1,880 for a high grade example and also if it gets the red color attribution and that is for the 2009 Formative Years Philadelphia Mint, which means that it has no mint mark on it. Well, can you believe it, folks? We have made it to number one on this list already. I really hope you guys enjoy these videos and find them helpful. If you do, I would really appreciate it if you would smash that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and also hit that bell notification so you can follow along with my new videos as they are being released. In the past, I have made plenty of videos breaking down the rare and valuable coins from Canada, the United States, Britain, Australia, New Zealand, and several other countries, and I'm going to be making plenty more in the future, so make sure to stay tuned for all of those. But what do you say we get into number one on this list, which is going to be the most rare and valuable of the modern American Bicentennial and Shield Reverse Lincoln Scents, and that is the 2009D Presidency Scent. Now this 2009 D will have a D mint mark indicating it was struck at the Denver Mint. 
it is worth 16 cents on the low end. So none of these pennies exceed a 16 cent value, nor do they dip below a 16 cent value. They are all worth exactly the same according to graysheet.com. Now their values may fluctuate depending on if you can find someone that really needs to fill a hole in their collection. But most of the time, you are not even gonna be able to get 16 cents for these pennies if they are beat up in a low grade condition. But it is definitely a decent theoretical value to go off of. In terms of the high end value, the 2009D presidency design can be worth around $3,130 for a high grade state. Also, if it gets the red color attribution, and that is for the 2009D mint mark, indicating it was struck at the Denver Mint presidency design Lincoln cent. I also want to quickly mention that there are a few errors and varieties for the modern American Bicentennial and Shield Reverse Lincoln Sense that can be worth some really good money and I'm going to make sure to cover those in a future video but these are just the basic circulation and business strikes for the Bicentennial and Shield Reverse American Lincoln Sense that you have a decent chance of actually finding in your pocket chain. You don't need to be an expert to identify these. You simply just need to have eyes and look at the coins and you can make some decent money. But I think that is pretty much going to do it for this one, folks. So until the next one, everybody, peace out and have a good one, y'all.